dear friends welcome back uh, today video session we are going to talk about what is um, a constructor injection setter injections what is a constructor injection uh, now in the last uh, videos there is a customer service employee service i created in the customer service i i injected a data handler i injected a data handler now this injection is a class level injection this injection is a class level injection okay um, then what is a constructor injection um, there is a one more service class i created it's a test service okay now i want to initialize this data handler classes at the time of uh, initializing the constructor at the time of uh, initializing the constructor so for that what we have to do is generally uh, for class uh, injection we will do like this right for constructor level injection we should not do that we have to do like this if you say like that um, whenever start a uh, spring web application spring application the can this constructor part get initialized by the spring framework and it will exit whatever code available inside the constructor that will go to execute in this example uh, whenever uh, start my spring, spring framework uh, this particular constructor get invoked because of i have mentioned at auto aware at auto aware injecting this constructor through this injection i am going to i, I, can, I can do anything inside the constructor uh, uh, now i want to initialize the data handler equal to data handler okay that's it I'm going to start this uh, server now. When start Spring Framework, Spring Boot application, you can see this message. So here, here this is constructor injection example. So when you say auto wire uh, spring, uh, spring framework understand that okay this this guy wanted to initialize this constructor whenever start the spring framework um, uh, it will understand so it will going to initialize this particular constructor while initializing what i am doing i mean i am initializing this uh, data handler i am initializing this data handler now this data handler is available to use this uh, this data is available uh, available to use in inside test, test services. I can create some method here public void get customer data customer data then data handler dot display employee some name you can do. So this will determine employee employee list then I am printing that the employee list that's it so once initialize this part this data analyzer is available to use anywhere in the classes like Customer service. In the customer service, I'm, I am injecting this data handler in class level. In the uh, test service, I am injecting this data handler in constructor level. So, constructor, when Spring Framework uh, call this constructor and initialize this data handler. Not only this purpose, for example, in some cases, some scenario in your project, uh, we wanted to do something whenever start this, uh, whenever initialize this class, initialize particular class, particular class, I want to perform something. Um, in the in such a case uh, you can uh, inject the constructor inj uh, do the constructor injection inside the constructor you can do uh, whatever you want this is the purpose of constructor injection 
Next one is uh, shutter induction. Okay, now I am going to use create another class. I'm going to the same data handler class. Private data handler. Sorry. Data handler. Sorry. Data handler. Data handler. Then. Now I want to. Whenever invoking this setter and getter, at that time I want to inject this in, uh, in initialize my data handler. So data handler handler is data handler is initialize initializing. Initialized data handler is initialized. Mm. Now, what will happen whenever you start your Spring Boot application? What will happen since I mentioned at auto wired set data handler method? What will happen? Your uh, Spring Framework call this method, your Spring Framework IOC container call this method and print this statement then initialize the data handler class initialize the data and this is the purpose of setter uh, injection but from for my understanding i don't see the um, uh, use of uh, much use of a setter, setter handler sorry setter injection okay but very useful in uh, um, constructor injection is very useful uh, uh, this is a um, um, setter injection example i will going to st start my application see here data handler initialized data handler initial initializing data handler initialized for so this method getting called Injection nothing but whenever start your spring framework I wanted to do I wanted I want to inject something for example I want to inject some particular service class at class level I want to inject particular service class and constructor level we need to go with constructor injection I want to do something uh, in setter method means you will have to use um, setter injection okay this is the purpose of um, a setter setter injection constructor injection hmm? Um, next one is uh, I want to tell another uh, use of uh, constructor injection. I will create another class here, test service. I don't want to remove these classes because I am going to commit this class project everything in a GitHub. You can use it. Okay, that's the reason I'm, uh, I don't want to override the examples. Um, now you need all service. I am I, my my file name is you need all services here. All service. Add service. If you want in the inject the customer service, what you will do? What we have done before at auto wire. Customer service, customer service at auto wire. Employee service, employee service. Then I want to initially, um, I want auto wire. Um, test service to, uh, test service. Sorry. Auto wire. Test service. 
happens. This is the class flow injection. This is a normal way to do. But instead of doing auto, doing auto at all the um, uh, service classes, you can do it in constructor itself. Remove this auto and everything. I don't want to do one by one. Remove this everything. Create a constructor. In it all service. Add this thing in a parameter. Custom customer service. Customer service, employee service, employee service. Then test service, test service. I created a one constructor. Constructor that constructor accept three service class parameter. Now this dot service equal to service. This dot employee service. Sorry. Employee service equal to employee service. This dot test service equal to test service. Start initializing on services completed initializing all services okay so, so whenever start my constructor this constructor string will work uh, take this all the service class and initializing it this is the one way of initializing all your service classes at the time of um, calling your constructor. Since you have not mentioned auto where it won't do, we have to do auto where. So now this constructor injection will initialize all my services. This is another way of initializing all the services instead of keeping auto where, auto where to all the service classes. Let's start the application now. See here, start initializing all services, complete initializing all services. So it's initializing everything here. Okay, uh, this is the example of um, uh, constructor injection. Okay, if you like this video, please like it, please share it, please subscribe it. Please add this video channel to who wanted to learn. Spring Boot and Spring Cloud. By the way, from Suresh Keshavan, we will talk about um, uh, how to create web application in next video.